everybody. Hello, hello and welcome. I have a double flip through. <laughs> they're, they're very similar, but, you know, a little bit different, obviously. Uh, I don't have loads and loads of ephemera, so some's got some in, some's got others in. I don't... We'll go through them and we'll see what's what. Uh, the way I'm going to differentiate them is I'm going to call this one the man, because I've got my man. And this one, the lady, because there's the lady. So this is the man, that's the lady. Okay, and let's, well, let's look through the lady first. That's what we should do. So it was a, one of my uh, black ledger paper folios um, that, that I decorated. And this, uh, I've closed it with a string and button closure like I seem to be closing everything with these days and just wraps around. Uh, it's got a little key on the end of it and around a couple of times. And there we go. And the string is actually glued in behind this tag. So you're not going to lose it. So don't worry about that. Uh, and here we can see on the front cover, it's predominantly blue, which I really like. It's one of the um, Distress Paint stress paint that I used for that and then I stamped over it with all things from the correspondence stamp kit stamp set stamp set yes um, and I did that in archival cobalt blue so it would stand out but not really stand out I, I like that look actually and then around here that was from the correspondence paper pack and that came as the page edging, so I cut it off and used it to edge this page instead. Uh, we've got a globe behind her, a United States Lines cabin class, and she looks like she's going off somewhere, doesn't she? It looks like a little um, suitcase that she's carrying. Got an airmail sticker and this uh, East, Eastern Airlines a passenger ticket and baggage check. So she's heading the right way, she's got a ticket, and that says airmail, and off we go wherever we're going. So it opens up. This is what it looks like when you first open it. I'm going to open it all the way and as we close it we'll talk about various parts of it. Right. Well, this is just the little page tuck that we had down here uh, with a little girl, the uh, lady really, I should say, I'm sure my age. Um, a little collage here and an arrow arrows coming all the way suggesting that she's going somewhere there's some movement somewhere and in here we've got a um, uh, coin large coin envelope and it opens up like that and you put anything you want to in there and it's just been stamped on and it's got various die cuts butterflies flowers that are painted in uh, it's just a pretty thing bit of washi down there and that's, that goes in there. Then here we've got a bit of a flippy page. Um, it's I, I really love this page actually. We've got the butterflies, we've got the tiny mini dolls, um, bits of book page, some washi tape. Yeah, I really like that actually. And it just flips over and we've got this guy. And he, I don't know, he looks like he should be called Lucky. Don't know why he just does, uh, but there he is, sat there with his bowler hat and his fancy tie. Um, he's just—I don't know—he looks a bit like a chancer. Sorry if you're related to him. <laughs> uh, and he's got his ticket here, um, U.S. Airmail. Yeah, the tickets behind him. I don't know. He just looks to me like like a chancer. That's terrible, but he does. Here we've got our baggage page, all the suitcases. I really like this page, possibly one of my favourites here. And the two big world uh, globes. And then this little one here that says call collect. Collect your baggage. <laughs> um, and the baggage there is from uh, one of the chapter three releases. And it's called Alphanumeric Theory. There you go. That's what it's called. But it's a really nice one. It's 
got different, they're all block capitals, but they're in different sizes. And you can put the smaller ones with the little line underneath. I really like that, appeals to me. Uh, we did quite a lot of work on those suitcases to get them to look like that. And I like that. And then here we've got, <laughs> we've got the post, uh, postal page and our postmaster general or well he's quite young isn't he i don't know what he is i don't i don't really know his position in life but <laughs> he looks very official and we've got that border around there again and we've got these arrows i like the arrows always suggesting we're going off somewhere and behind him we've got all these stamps from various countries around the world actually um and some little uh, tags in behind him some little tickets with an aeroplane, some letters. I miss you very much. Oh no, that's so sad. A uh, little blue one. Goodbye for now, honey. I miss you very much. Oh, he obviously misses her. Um, goodbye for now, honey. Oh, I hope he comes back soon. Um, and that just fits into that little uh, pocket there. Then we've got our, the journal section and it's got quite a few pages in it. I don't actually know how many. One, two, three, four, oh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's, is that 28 back and front each page, I think? I don't know, something like that. And I've put uh, a big side pocket on here, which I think is always useful in a journal because you can just ram things in there and then when you you know get time to sort them out you can journal with them however you wish but just for the interim they're a really useful place to hold things and I've sewn the journal page pieces together um, and put on some beads on the end of the strings but I've also put it into the journal with this elastic which means that you can take the journal out completely take it with you wherever you want to back pages uh, similarly with a big pocket down there so you could just pop that in your purse and off you go or um, when you've used it all you can take it out date it you know pop it somewhere somewhere safe in case you know you don't want everybody to read it uh, and just make yourself a new one you're off to go you know you're ready to go again I've just notched the top and the bottom just to keep the elastic in place because otherwise it has a tendency to roam around the spine that just fits in there really nicely so that's that uh, then here we've got the little waterfall pages and this one with the mini dolls and the proper dried flowers butterflies really nice pretty journaling then here we've got the lady with the dried flowers um, a mini marquee an index clip bits and pieces of ephemera some stamps you know and here we've got a butterfly page and these are proper dried flowers as well that's really pretty there's journaling on the back of all of these and there's journaling down there which I have specifically left because I think it's a good immediate bit to go to to journal so that's that uh, I'll show you the back page when we're here this is the back and I absolutely love it this is a contender for my page of the journal. <laughs> uh, I put washi tape from the Postal series all the way around. Uh, and then this was a piece of cream card. And you've seen me do this before, which is why I didn't video it. I've just made a collage from stamps that I had that were in the... Uh, are they called correspondence, those stamps, I think. Um, and just used... I used grey, black, red and blue archival inks and, you know, other inks, but those lasting inks, not the distress inks, and just made a collage. And then I, well, I put vintage photo onto some cellophane and then put it back onto the page because my vintage photo is just a nightmare to spray. You just end up with a great big concentrated ring of it. Uh, so that's how I did that and I really quite like that it's lovely so let's go back to here and put these fold these in and talk about them a little bit um, here's this guy he looks thoroughly fed up to be honest with you and he sat on his, his 
brown paper box of whatever it may be. It's got it's got luggage labels on it, so I think he's been around a bit uh, with his brown paper box. It's got arrows, a train ticket here that's been looks like it's been scrumpled up in his pocket actually, and he's finally found it, um, but it's it's still a bit crinkled up. It's torn, in fact, and there's something here that that's important to him because he's clipped it on. And then here we've got uh, a tag that's the ticket ticket that he needs the pointy finger with the arrows and some little flowers there so i like that page yeah i do and then this folds over to this page this is washi tape from the postal series i really like those arrows they're lovely um and you watched me make this this lovely lovely lady with some flowers the luggage um thing which is what it's all about really a little tag here I printed on it and just put some string in and then this tag up here that hangs over the top of the book and I've just uh, attached a little heart charm to that there's some tickets and one thing and another and I think that looks nice too I like that one and then there's the cover so we're back to the beginning so just a quick flip through again just so you get your bearings that flips out like that and then like that and then like that this is a flip up page so you know there's lots lots going on and it just the way I find best to do it is take that round to the back then come round your button and pull that tight and then that way there your button not tight don't pull it so tight it falls out the journal uh, just round that button and then start going round your journal like that round your button a couple of times and then just tuck that little key there into there and that's your journal so that's our lady journal so let's now have a quick look at the gentleman journal uh, this has got a larger key on the front not for any reason his secrets are not any any bigger than the ladies um, well there might be but he's a gentleman so he's got a big key and that just goes there and then well before I turn that over let's just talk a, a minute about the cover uh, it's got this United States cabin class stateroom uh, tag for that a, a globe uh, out of the same alphanumeric uh, what's it called theory yep I've done I've die cut that's it the word travel and stuck that on this is a map of the world behind it from memoranda i think the memoranda paper pack and then this from well you know we've used it before uh, and i just colored well i put embossing glaze actually on these this bunch of red roses that he's taking to somebody that he's meeting on the cruise I don't know make your own stories up but he's carrying a suitcase he's obviously going somewhere so um, I've given him a, a cruise <laughs> what's wrong with that very nice so that opens up and this is what you see when you open it up this is the journal again it's exactly the same as the other one uh, it's got that pocket on the back with all the letters I love this bit here um, and this bit says special delivery and in the middle of that we've got a little um, bead and a key charm same situation here with the elastic it's just into the notches there and you can of course take it out replace it whatever uh, same as the other one then here we've got this very beautiful lady she is gorgeous uh, a tag here that I've stamped on I've crossed out some dates as if those are the days she's already used the ticket, whatever. Um, just some pieces of ephemera. Bit of a Cathy Holden sticker there, actually, which I really like. It just softens that page up. Um, and then it opens up to here. And we've got this fellow me lad sat on his um, cardboard box with all these luggage tags on it. Arrows train ticket same as the other guy uh, a tag from the salvage tags and I've you know I've done some stamping around and there's uh, the flowers 
here we've got the postmaster general again it's very similar to the other one very very similar a couple of letters and a couple of um sort of tickety things that i've stamped on um that's journaling on the back if you want it and there's the pocket that that goes into it's got a stamp and then this just says hello sweetheart hello sweetheart so cute uh, then this opens up and we've got this lady here with arrows going around uh, another one of the coin envelopes it's got a window in with acetate and a butterfly behind this one opens up slightly differently it's uh, it opens up this way and you can put something in there if if you want to should you be desirous um, these squares that you see here I've never had these before um, they're we are memory keepers and they they're just cut you you set them as you would set an eyelet but you get this square on the top really rather nice so that goes in there like that then we've got the flippy flap page which is the the mini people and mushrooms this time washi tape and some stamping etc and I've just attached a little charm there it's a four leaf clover uh, here this guy he just makes me smile <laughs> he's, just, oh, he's just he looks quite happy doesn't he and that's all that you can hope for anybody he looks happy he's got his feet in the flowers and probably his head in the clouds um, and that's that page it's a flip as you can see that's held in with a linen washi and here's the baggage page for this one call collect again um, the globes in the background a little tag on that suitcase that says number 31 I don't know why that's number 31 I have no idea uh, then we've got our oh we've looked at him haven't we looked at you yeah I think so um, we've looked at him We've looked at that, excellent. So let's budge along the bus. Um, this has got a bead and a, and a key on the ends of those threads. Here's our uh, little waterfall with the lace down the edges. The page with the three minis in. Flowers, butterflies, washi, stamps. Yep, it's all there. Journaling on the back. This lady who looks quite fearsome, she looks I don't know what she looks like, but she looks like she's about to tell you off. I can't help feeling that every time I see her. She's going to say something to me. Uh, mini mark there with an index clip. A little bit of sewing down there. Journaling on the back. Butterfly page. Very nice. And journaling, journaling. And that is, is it. That's the back. It's the same as the other one. That lovely stamped collage. It's really nice. Um, and yeah I mean this just you tie this exactly the same so the button is loose so go around it like that and that just puts tension on the button then and then go around and back round to here and just go around like that and then you just took the key in there and there you go so there are our two journals We've got the gentleman and the lady, and I shall be listing those in my Etsy shop fairly soon, as soon as Etsy lets me play. <laughs> so thanks for watching. I hope you like these. I certainly really enjoyed doing them, and I can't wait to get set on the, on the next project, to be honest with you. Um, more on that, however, further down the line. So thanks for watching. Bye.